Nestled in the sleepy and stunning Hampshire countryside is the Rothko Collection in partnership with Golf, and I'm delighted to be joined by Lando Norris. Thank you very much. It's a hidden gem, isn't it? You never would have thought this place is here. I think it's my dream garage. Everywhere you look. There's a cool car. It's overwhelming, the senses. There's some cars which I would love to drive, which are golf partnered, such as this beautiful car behind us. We have one of these in McLaren as well. Right, whether it's in Goodwood or another track around the world or Monaco or something, there's a lot of these cars which I would love to drive at one point in my life. How would you rate your chances? Uh, slim to none. <laughs> Such a distinctive style though, isn't it? It's something you'd notice every single time, you know, whether it was in Le Mans or just GTs or whatever race. Or just the logo itself, you know, the orange and the blue and the white is something people have noticed for years. It's very unique and it's just a good look as well, isn't it? It's a great look. And driving at McLaren with all that history and heritage must make you immensely proud. Yeah. Is it intimidating in any way? Does it come with extra pressure? Not at all. I think it's more inspiring to be able to see these things or see the heritage of whether it's McLaren or, or any competition that's been with golf, but it's definitely something to, to be happy about and positive about and definitely makes you smile when you see such a thing. That is the right answer. Thank Lando Norris is never intimidated. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. Just having your roots in the past, it kind of gives you a strong foundation for the future. Yeah. How are you feeling about 2021? I am uh, I feel good. There's a lot of different challenges coming into my third season, but I'm just as excited as my first one. A bit more confident, I've learned a lot more things. I'm happy and I think the team are going in the right direction. We made some good improvements over the last few years. So if we can take another little step this year, that would be perfect. Dream big, absolutely. Exactly. Just reflect for us on that podium one more time. Can you surprised even your bosses? Uh, I surprised myself. The last few laps went extremely quickly. <laughs> Lewis had a five-second penalty and I was, I don't know what it was, 6.2 behind or yeah. something. I just had to do the best lap I possibly could and it was a very nice lap and you know, there's the onboard radio of my engineer telling me, you know, press all these buttons and, and extract every bit of performance you can out of a Formula One car. I crossed the line and he didn't say anything for like 10, 15 seconds. So I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Which is a lifetime. And he slowly sat it out that I uh, was on the podium. Obviously, it wasn't official at that point, but it's just such a shock because I never thought it coming into the season. I never thought it going into the race. And all of a sudden, that thing that you, th you dream of since, or I dreamt of, and many other people do since you're, you know, five, six, seven years old watching Formula One. And you always think so far in the distant future, suddenly you're there. Then I'm on the grid, spraying some champagne and, and having a bit of fun. So it was definitely something I remember for a long time. So have you set yourself goals? I wouldn't say I'm a big goal setter. I'm just, yeah, realistic in what I want to achieve. I I'll do my best, um, I always do, but it's, it's not as simple as just saying things. I think you have to put a lot of thought into it and motivate yourself and that's what I try and do. Well, Lando, here at Rothko, we are surrounded by history and I really feel like you're going to be making some of that history for Thanks. McLaren in 2021. Good luck. Thank you very much.